I raise the table as we start. All we're missing is music. We need like <laughs> epic music. Like, uh, I love it. I love it. You know, I love it. You know, like, you know when, uh, who's your favorite band? This is going to date me, but Bon Jovi. Okay, so Bon Jovi comes on stage. It's not just like he's there and he's like, uh, uh, what is he? What's his favorite? What's his big song? Uh, Living on a Prayer? Uh, sure, yes. So it's like he doesn't just start singing. It's like the lights go, ba ba ba, right? And then like the smoke comes <laughs> and like the music starts to pick up. That's how I want to start these lives. I want them to okay. be a concert. All right. I'll work. I'm going to work on it. <laughs> I'll be, right, I can be gonna... a groupie. I'll be a groupie. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, work exactly. my, I'll, no. work my, I'll work on my groupiness. No, you're, you're the singer. You're the, you're <laughs> the performer. You're the one the, on the live. You can't be a groupie. <laughs> oh, got it. <laughs> uh, all right. Come say hey. All right. I'm just putting this thing to everyone. Come say hey on this Friday. If you guys are here, say hey in the comments. Uh, let us know you're here. Today, we're going to talk about how to exercise effortlessly, eliminating the need for willpower. As always, I am joined by the lovely, the educated, the experienced, the, <laughs> the wonderful Coach Rachel. And uh, I'm excited because today we're going to be talking about something specific. And we have some graphics for you guys as well. Ooh, that I I love, we love graphics here at RNB. But wait, can't show you the graphics yet. Or maybe maybe we will. Uh, Rachel, let's, uh, I'll let you start us off. Yeah. So, oh, go ahead. well, it's Friday, saying, you know, yeah. it's all about fun on a Friday. I mean, right. It's always all about fun on a Friday. Although I do have to say that one of my core values is actually fun. Like for real, one of my, I have five, the fun is one of them. Um, fitness is another one. Um, but so I like to read and I like to read, but I like to read about things that are fun and things that fit my values. And so I picked up this book. I don't even know. Power of Fun. The Power of Fun by Catherine Price. Was so, it was it say in the sub subtitle? How, how to, to feel, feel alive, again? alive again. That's cool. So like she's that. got this great book, but really what she talks about is we use the word fun in the English language for sure for a gazillion different things, but she's super specific about fun being three things. And she calls it, um, what does she call it? Uh, true fun. I call it capital F fun, but it has to have three things. And that's where your graphic is, but it has to be playful. Okay. It needs to be connected or you need to be connected. So doing it with someone else and yes. then you need to be in the flow. Yes. So as I was reading this book, I mean, she talks about just adding fun to your life just in general. So she doesn't talk about exercise, but I thought, you know what, what if, and I'm still, you know, thinking about these ideas. So, right. I just thought it would be good for us to talk about and share. Yeah, but, I know. I agree. I, this is already getting a lot of thoughts going in my head too. Oh, good morning, okay. Kathy. Good morning, Gloria. Good to see you. Yay. Hi. Um, <laughs> but if we made exercise true fun or yes. picked an exercise that for us was true fun, Yes. You would do it more often, hundred percent, right? True. Because we, yeah. we we talked about all the chemicals last week, but you know we would have this like serotonin, we'd have this dopamine, we'd have all these things like running through our brains too because it's fun and we're drawn to things that are true fun. I totally agree. There's a couple thoughts that come to mind initially. The first one is I'm curious, <laughs> how do you view exercise? If you're watching this on recording or you're watching this live, mm -hmm. how do you view exercise? Is it fun? Is it this or that? And what do you do if you do it? And no shame in saying nothing in the comments. That's okay. Or you got to say something, but saying that you do nothing is what I mean. Um, yeah, I, I love this. I think this is such a good topic. And I, I commend you so much for bringing this up because I feel like a lot of times when it comes to this journey of transformation, tr making our bodies the way we want, I feel like a lot of us just focus on the mechanics. We focus on what's most effective. Hey, coach, what is the thing that's going to be most effective? But what, as you guys know, what we focus on is not just effectiveness, but also how can we take that effectiveness and put it through a lens of what is actually sustainable? Because who cares how effective something is if, number one, you hate it? Because, number two, you don't do it very long or you don't do it when the coach is no longer there. Which, if we think about the purpose of our coaching, it is not to get you to your goal while you're with us. Believe it or not. I know that sounds crazy. That's a side goal. The goal that we have in our coaching is that 5, 10, or 15 years from now, you're at your goal 
and have sustained it for years. That's a very different, it feels similar, but it's a very different uh, approach and I'll say goal, right? So to your point, I mean, this is beautiful. Focusing on exercise and, you know, making it effort, effortless, eliminating the need for willpower will get us to that ideal. And you were talking about the three ways to do it. I'll let you, uh, I'll let you hit that there. Oh, we got some more good yeah. mornings. Alexis, good morning. Good to see Yay. you. Yay. Love, love a Friday. Love a fun Friday. Um, <laughs> Let's go. So, so again, yeah, these three, these three different buckets and I love a good Venn diagram as well, but so playfulness. So finding something that you enjoy moving your body that mm -hmm. is kind of lighthearted and, and free, you know, Ryan, yes. we were talking even before we jumped on live just about, remember when we were kids and yeah. you just went out and right. played, but that yeah. was the word just right. Exactly. And that play yeah, you, involved movement. Oh, sorry. Right. I was just going to say, no, exactly. You don't see a kid saying like, looking at his calendar saying like, I really got to, really got to schedule in this play today. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to fit it in though. Right. And yes, they have less responsibilities and I get it, but like it became, it was intuitive, you know, it's just something we feel pulled towards. And that's really the answer to sustainability. In my opinion, people who say they're disciplined, I think are lying in my opinion. And don't get me wrong, you can't do things you don't like for extended periods of time, but that doesn't mean that it's going to last years. I think that the answer is really feeling pulled towards it. So sorry not to. Yeah, no, and I think that I think that's right. And I think that the, the other part of that playfulness is that end part of that sentence there, but it's being not being tied to the outcome. So doing yes. something just for the just sake for the activity's of sake of the activity, not for the outcome of the activity. So letting go kind of of that result, which sometimes yes. is hard, but we all of have course. things that we like to do like that. Yes. The other one, then if you go to flow, it's, you know, remember the last time that you were doing something, moving your body and you completely forgot what time it was? Yes. Like you just were so into what you were doing. You were dancing, you were skiing, you were yes. doing something that you were just like in that zone. Yes. So something that's playful for me in the zone. Or martial arts. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And then, you know, Catherine also adds, adds this thing to be true fun. And it's not as though you can't move your body and do some of these other things and not have all three, but sure. to be true fun, doing it in connection with somebody else. That's like, a great one. As Good human point. beings, we are drawn to connection and to community. And if yes. you put all of those three things together, like, yes. It's true fun, or I call it capital F fun. So capital F fun, you want to do that. Like Ryan said, you don't have to schedule it on. You might need to schedule it because you have, you're super yes. busy. But yeah. it's not like this dreaded, oh, I have to do this. You yes. get to do it. And you're so excited yeah. about getting to do that movement. So well said. Uh, Sarah, Sarah in the comments, welcome to the group, Sarah. I, know, I see you're new here. Uh, Sarah says, good morning. Yes, totally agree. Yeah, I feel like this is crucial. And the thing that like pops into my mind, especially, is again, balancing this idea, which we just hinted to before, about balancing the, the, the uh, or just balancing between effectiveness of exercise and enjoyment, right? And it reminds me of one of my clients, uh, uh, Michelle, who loves Zumba. And I remember when I said, Hey, we're going to, you know, start adding, it was about week four. I said, we're going to start adding some resistance training. This is going to help you for A, B, and C, right? It's going to allow you to increase your metabolism slowly over time. It's going to allow you to, uh, actually do it, do a multitude of things appear more toned, but we'll just say it's going to be effective. One of the most effective uses of your exercise time. She hates it. You should have seen it. I was on the live. I was, I mean, you know, I was on my zoom. I was telling her, I was like, Hey, this is what we're going to do. She, you just saw her face go blank. She's like, <sighs> are you, I really don't want to. And some of my clients know who you are. You yeah, yeah, right. But of course, like, you know, maybe me in my less experienced years, I'd be like, well, that's just the price you pay, right? But the, her days would have been numbered where instead I asked, well, hey, well, what do you enjoy the most, right? And I already knew at that point, actually, I didn't ask uh, because she was already doing it. Zumba, she loves to dance. I believe she had like, uh, she was like Colombian or Brazilian, uh, and she said, oh, my God, I could dance three hours a day. Like, I put on my music and I dance. And I said, what if we pair it? Right? So what, what we would do, she got some basic weights. You don't need a big home gym to be able to do this. She got two 15-pound dumbbells and one 35-pound kettlebell. So we could do, like, full body stuff. and uh, Or two 10-pounds and a 35-pound uh, kettlebell. And what she would literally do is we'd have her weight training workout, which was 30 minutes. Instead of resting, she would dance. 
she, the whole time she'd just play her music. And every time, right, like in the mornings when I'd be doing my check-in, she's like, oh, I'm so glad today's a workout day. I'm so glad today. Because she just wants to dance and she wants to be free. And then to, uh, to your point too, she got some of her Zumba friends to do it with her <laughs> over time. So she had even more of this connection and it, it just more aligned with her true fun. That was two years ago. And I don't, I haven't checked in with her. She, she's no longer an active client, but you know, she's well on her way of uh, sustainability, but I'm sure if I went uh, and looked at creeped on her social media a little bit, I would see her still doing it. Maybe I'll reach out to her after this and let her know we talked about her. <laughs> uh, also, yeah, Jana says, good morning. Hey, Coach Rachel. What about my, what, Jan, Jana, where's my hello? No, <laughs> just kidding. If you guys are here, uh, drop a comment, say hi. And also a question, like this is uh, not meant to be us talking at you. This is community, right? So we're here to uh, answer questions, but also be able to talk with you guys uh, and have some discourse. Yeah, no, I think this whole thing, it's about, I mean, so this isn't, I mean, this is just the framework then, right? And then it's about each of us really kind of, you know, maybe sitting down and doing that brainstorm about what do I find? And I did it and did like three different lists, right? What's playful? What are all the things that I like to, how do I move my body that's playful? How yes. do I move my body that I know I can get into the flow? And then that whole connection and then yes. kind of seeing where that overlap is. So, you know, and finding that thing. And then, so, Ryan, as you said, I think that, I, you know, there are things, we are adults, right? Yes. We're not kids. So there are things no. that are effective that we should be doing for our bodies. Um, yes. Resistance training being absolutely being one of them, heart health, yes. bone health, everything. Yep. We need to do that. It helps with weight loss. But I love that thing about, about then combining it as well. Or, you know, just making sure that you are doing that thing, that true fun thing. When you yes. saw, when you talked about dance, okay, so clearly I'm a really big reader. So there's another book that maybe we'll talk about next week um, about the joy of movement. And there's this whole thing about how dance actually through like like we are born as human beings to dance. I mean, there's there really? are like yep, and we'll, move and I'll dance. bring it next week. So stay tuned for next week. We'll talk about we'll talk about how dance actually is how to dance. I won't be on that one. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not Dance, not how to dance. Yeah. <laughs> I can't teach that. Uh, no, the reason why dance is so um, important and effective for all communities, all, all generations, all cultures, all stuff. So we'll talk about that about and how that can help help you find some true fun. Very cool. So uh, what I'm curious of is wh what's your intersection, right? And I'll, I'll tell you mine too. But I'm curious, wh what's your true fun? What's your connection? And this is even getting me thinking. Like you know what? With my activity, I think I'm missing connection. Because when I grew up, like, man, like as much as like, yeah, we're coaches, we're always learning. And like, I, this is like becoming something really important for myself in this moment. It's like when I grew up, I did martial arts, uh, you know, with other people, Muay Thai, Krav Maga, uh, that sort of thing. And then when I was weight training, I always weight trained from like 13 to 20 more times with somebody than I didn't like with a partner. And I'm thinking, yeah, over the last 10 years, I really haven't had connection with my exercise. I'm very, very playful, very free, very fun, very flow. I forget the time, but I, I'm definitely missing connection. That's, um, thank you for bringing that to my attention. But what I'm curious of is you, what is, what's your middle? Yeah. So my middle, so what I thought my middle was for a long time, um, was I, I actually do really enjoy, but I'm not going to call it true fun anymore. I do really enjoy okay. strength training. So I really enjoy strength training. Um, I also enjoy triathlon training. So okay. both of those things, although I will say that connection and flow definitely were part of both of those things. They yes. weren't quite as playful as I thought that they were. So mm. I'm going to be super trite, but pickleball. Like I never, I'm not, I'm a there. I'm not a I love it. person at all, but I have to say in the last, um, and this has only been in the last like six months that yeah. I'm late to the pickleball game, but pickleball, I so love, fun. I get like a hundred percent luck and I'm awful at it. Cause I'm not, <laughs> I don't have that hand eye coordination thing. I'm not that coordinated. Yeah. I'm awful, but I, all of a sudden it's but like, I love it. like <laughs> what happened? I mean, yeah. Well, has all That's, for me. That uh, that was like me in ping pong when I when I uh, uh, started playing again as an adult. I got a table and like I would play with my dad or like a friend for uh, just hours. Now, of course, like it's because I played a lot as a kid, 
and like I had the natural like something and I think it was, a little bit was of easier skill, like, like, yeah you, like you yeah the flow came but like that I then played pickleball and I was like oh my god this is amazing it makes me wonder why I live in this climate like I live in Bob the Boston area and it's like so cold. I can't play pickleball half the year. What am I doing, Rachel? I, I got to move to Texas. To Austin. I mean, I moved out of Minnesota to Austin, Texas because of that whole like space because I needed to have be outside. Yeah. And that's not in here either. I mean, there's so many other things that probably fall in. But for me, true fun, um, maybe it's the playful part is being outside. So that's part of maybe that's where I thought that the triathlon thing was like filling my true fun. But Triathlon's so, not that playful for me because it's challenging. So interesting. I, I love it. Uh, really well said. Hey, Chris, good to see you as well. Um, this is great. Uh, and we could probably talk about this for a while. In interest, of, in interest of time, is there anything else you'd want to add to this as well? Yeah, I don't think so. I just think, and again, I don't I don't mean this to be prescriptive. Like you, you have to right. go find these things that are true fun. But I think it's a really interesting um, experiment or process to go through and really think about what that might be for you. Um, yes. because it is true. If we find that thing, let's do more of it. I mean, let's That's just, right. do, I mean, who couldn't use a little more true fun in their life? I mean, who couldn't use it? I mean, it's not a bad thing. It's not bad. It's not bad for you. And you know, the, quite the opposite. And right. sometimes it, it feels weird that we have to be thoughtful about yes but about it however if we're not having true fun in our life and Catherine talks about that in her book if we're not having it okay then we have to schedule it and then we have to practice getting yes. in the habit of inviting or finding true fun so just like we're getting yeah. into that habit of eating better eating differently eating to nourish our bodies and we're getting the habit of moving our bodies we also then need to get in the habit of inviting that true fun into our life i love it well said i think this is really cool i think it's a good, good place to end it as well uh if you guys are watching this and it's helpful feel free to drop a comment let us know if you want an idea or if you have an idea of what uh you'd like for a topic let us know that as well uh coach rachel and i go into the comments and we'll answer comments even if they come on a replay and uh, we're here to help. And as always, if you're interested in working with us, we'll put a link somewhere that you can apply. Cool. Enjoy the day. And if you want to join the dance party next week, you know, we're going to raise yeah. the roof. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to raise the roof, baby. <laughs> next Friday. Totally. I'm trying my age a little bit, but okay. <laughs> we're going to be playing some, uh, not not Howie Mandel. That's not it. Uh, he's a, he's like that dealer. No deal he's guy. a comedian about, about yeah, from the same genre, though. Who's the, uh, no, but, but there is like this song, I can't, this is how we do it. Who's that by? Oh yeah. Um, I'm awful, awful, oh, awful. This at dating, is I can, how we do yeah. it. Oh, yeah. Montel Jordan. Okay. Someone totally different. All right, great. We're going to end here. <laughs> See you guys later. <laughs>